Hi, this is John with the Garmin Marine Team with a continuation with our Garmin Marine Team webinar training series. Today, I wanted to cover relief shading. This is going to encompass the Blue Chart G3 Vision and Lakeview Ultra cards. As always, if you have any questions pertaining particularly to this training webinar, please send your emails to marine.training at garmin.com and we will answer your questions in a timely manner. What I wanted to cover today is relief shading, which we can do on our Echo Map series and on our GPS Map series. I want to explain what relief shading is, let you know, is my area covered? Is my Garmin device compatible? The difference between Blue Chart G3 Vision and Lakeview G3 Ultra, and also talk a little bit how we can share in community edits utilizing Active Captain and Navionics. So, what is high resolution relief shading? This actually combines color and shadow to give you an easy to interpret clear view of bottom structure. As you see here, it can tell us a great bit of difference in what the bottom looks like. It can show us artificial reefs, shelves, ledges, drop offs. We've got land areas here, we've got shallow areas. We've got deeper areas. So it gives us a really good situational awareness around us when we're targeting areas to fish, dive, or if we're navigating areas to avoid. Relief shading's been out for a little bit over a year as of this recording. We're calling it Relief Shading 2.0, and we've extended the coastal coverage area. So first I wanted to cover coastal coverage, and then I'll go into our lake coverage area. We have 100% of the US covered now. You can go onto our website and take a look and see, is my device compatible? We have a PDF on there that shows a compatibility chart. With that, you can look and see and remember, we're going to focus this webinar training on high resolution relief shading. So let's just take this as an example. Let's say I have a GPS map series 1042. Yes, I can get high resolution relief shading with the addition of the G3 Vision or Ultra cards in either a download format or I can get them preloaded onto a card itself. If I have an older legacy unit, this feature might not be available on there. So if you go to some of our older series here, let's say a GPS map, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, and so forth, you're not going to see the high resolution relief shading on those particular units. You will get some of the other features within that card, such as auto guidance, but you're not going to get if you're looking for relief shading on those particular devices. Is my Garmin compatible with relief shading? So we can go on to our website, and I get this question a lot. You know, is my Garmin device compatible? Well, if we go to our Garmin website, I can type in, and this is an example that I had from a boat show. I had a consumer come up to me and said they had an 8212 and wanted to know, is this compatible with my particular unit? And the easiest way is to go on our website. Real quick too, I just wanted to call out something here. If you take a look, we've got, we won at the Bassmaster 2020 Classic, first, second, and third place, a clean sweep. That is amazing. So I typed in 8212, 
and it gives me some results here. There's my 8212. So this was a premium unit a few years ago. Very, very popular out in the marketplace. So I can click on that unit there. I then can go in, might have to scroll down a little bit and take a look at software. So if I select software, this will pop up. This is where I can actually download software to an SD card or micro SD card in order to update my software that way to my chart plotter. Or if I have a newer Garmin unit that actually has Active Captain, I can update that to my smart device to my Garmin chart plotter. So let's click on GPS map series. We're gonna click on download here. And when we do that, it's actually gonna come in here and gives me all the devices that that software is going to cover. And there is my 8212 series. So if I click on that, that's actually going to show me the change history to the 8212 series. And this is pretty beneficial. This is great for dealers. This is great for consumers. If you're wondering if something has changed in some of our devices or is this compatible this is a great great way to go in and see hey was it added in a software update in the past so we look here added support for high resolution relief shading map layers on fish chart so we did add that it's in there also this was another way and we've had this question quite often can my new 8600 XSB series that has sonar, send sonar via the ethernet cable over to, in this example, my 8212, and absolutely you can. Let's first talk about Bluechart G3 Vision. G3 Vision are gonna give some add-on premium features over our regular Bluechart G3 cartography. Now, just remember, both G3 and G3 Vision, we integrate the Garmin and Navionics content together. So we have the best of both worlds and the best charts that are out there for people that are on lakes or on coastal waters. With G3 Vision, you're getting the addition of relief shading, 3D views, satellite imagery, and aerial photos. What chart will cover my area? Well, you can do this also at Garmin.com. You can go to our homepage there, and you can click under Marine, and then click under Marine Charts and Maps. And you can go in and find both coastal, inland lakes, or you can actually update your current charts via Active Captain app or Garmin Express. And we walk you through that also. So in this example, let's click on coastal charts because I'm looking for saltwater charts in my area. I live in Florida, so I could move the pin over and the location on there and see what coverage area it's going to give me. I want coastal as opposed to the lakes and the rivers. It's going to give me different choices, but within those, you can actually search throughout the entire US on the coverage area for G3 vision. And if you notice, we broke down those areas of coverage into smaller areas because there's so much data on these cards, we're going to break them into smaller chunks in order to purchase for that particular area of coverage that you might need. So as you see, the entire US is actually covered. This example, I live on the west coast of Florida. I could use the Brownsville, the Key Largo. Like I said, I could download it, or in my instance, maybe I would want to just purchase that from one of our great dealers on a SD micro SD card and then just plug it into my chart plotter. Make it simple and easy. 
these are the large size coverage areas. Another example that I have is the Jacksonville to the Bahamas. You can see that goes all the way down to the Turks and Caicos. You can get regular coverage size areas too. So maybe I didn't need the entire area all the way over to Brownsville. If you wanted to save a little bit of money, you can go in and choose smaller coverage areas that are going to give you just the same exact detail as what the larger areas are going to cover. In this example, I'm showing Southwest Florida, South Florida, and the Bahamas. And don't forget, we'll cover the US, so coast to coast coverage. So we have Vancouver to San Diego on the left and then Boston and Norfolk. So we have complete coverage areas of the entire US for relief shape. Remember, you want to make sure that your Garmin device is up to date with the latest software version. If you buy this card and you insert it into your Garmin chart plotter and you don't see this relief shading icon pop up, you might not have the most current version on there. So just check and make sure and update that either through your Active Captain app or go onto our website and download it to an SD or micro SD card. The nice thing is after you actually update that under your charts and home, you're going to see that as its separate icon on the screen itself. I wanted to give some screenshots of areas uh, throughout the US to give you a kind of idea how you're going to use this. So this is a screenshot in the Panhandle of Florida, uh, St. Joe's Bay. So a shallow bay area here, but really good for you know flats fishermen or people that are looking to fish in areas here that are inshore. This is going to give you good coverage areas. So I can see kind of little drop-offs and areas that are taller and rise up off the bottom. So I can see some washout areas, some areas through here. So those might be areas that I can't see on the surface when I'm just riding in the boat and I can target that particular area. I've got a lot of my, my friends, uh, charter captains now, they're re using relief shading and saying, hey, I don't even really need waypoints at certain times. I can just go ahead and say, I want to target this area when the tide's coming in and I know I'll be able to catch fish through this area here. Another area is off the Mid-Atlantic Canyons. So this is a good depiction of what the bottom will look like in those areas. So you can look and see where you've got the canyon areas, the drop-offs, where it rises up, it might be an area that you want to troll, or you might want to deep drop in certain areas out here. And another screenshot, this is from Venice, Louisiana. So if you're not even familiar with this area and you want to target the bottom, you can see where the ledge is. You can see where there's some rise off the bottom here little channels in there. So it really gives you great situational awareness of what's beneath your vessel. You also get premium features when you buy the G3 Vision card. Let's take a look at those. First off, we go all the way down to one foot contour lines. So the closer that you have the contour lines, the more accurate the depiction of the bottom structure is. You want to see those lines kind of stack up. You're taking a look at the bottom here. You've got spot readings, contour lines, great bathymetric cover coverage of what's beneath your vessel. Depth range shading. This is a very beneficial feature on our premium series. This allows us to provide up to 10 depth ranges. And you can, I use this to actually do it a couple different ways. If I'm targeting a certain depth, let's say I know that I'm catching fish in a certain depth range, I might target that or put that color to green. I also set 
shallow areas up. So I can really see, I might say red is going to be zero to five feet. That's the depth range that I want to have. And then maybe orange is six to 10 feet. And you can put those ranges in there and then that will show you on your chart itself. High resolution satellite imagery. This will give you detailed images of ports, marinas, bridges, navigational landmarks, helping you to see your surroundings. We'll get into this a little bit later and show where you actually turn this on when you have one of these premium G3 Vision or Ultra cards. And finally, auto guidance. Many of our current units actually have auto guidance built in. If you buy some of the US versions with the charts, either G3, lakes, or coastal built into it, you'll have auto guidance. Some units do not. So with these cards here, you know that you'll have auto guidance technology on that card itself. And what auto guidance does, simply enough, if you want to navigate to a waypoint, it's going to give you the safest route based upon your minimum depth requirements and maximum bridge height and how close to shoreline that you want to come. Let's talk a little bit about Lakeview G3 Ultra, our premium card for inland lakes. A comparison here. So you've got G3 and then you have Ultra. Ultra is going to give you the high resolution release shading that we'll show, but you also get 3D views, dynamic lake levels, which I'll get in and show you how to turn those on and answer your question, hey, is my lake included in dynamic lake levels? Also, high resolution relief shading, satellite imagery, and surface and side scan sonar photos. So we have surveyed lakes, and with that, we actually have screenshots of our sonar images and surface photos of marinas, docks, boat ramps, and so on. We have a lot of good tools on our website that, go, that help you go in and take a look and say, is my lake on there and does this have high resolution relief shading? We have PDFs that are on our website. We also have a very, very important tool, which is lakes.garmin.com. So if you want to find your lake, you can type this in. You'll have this pop up and you can enter your lake in there. And you want to know, you know, does my lake give me auto, you know, do I have auto guidance on the G3 card? Do I have shallow water shading? Do I have Mariner Eye 3D views, Fish Eye 3D views? So you want to see checks next to the area here. Is that covered? Does my lake have dynamic lake levels? Some do and some don't. It depends on if it's a surveyed lake. So let's go in and take a look, but this is a great tool. You can use this at home and look and see what am I getting on my particular lake, type the name in and see what advanced features that you're getting on your lake. When you purchase a Lakeview G3 card for the US, we broke it down into East and West versions. The reason is there's so much data on these cards, we had to put them and kind of separate them so they're on two separate cards. You will notice that some of these states that are on the border of the card area are actually in both versions. So we wanted to make sure that you got a really good overlap so everyone was covered on these cards. So you can purchase either uh, West or East Coast. And these are preloaded on micro SD or SD card, depending on the device that you're utilizing. And yes, we have coverage for Canada also. Got your Canadian part number there. Let's take a look at relief shading in echo maps un units. I used my 94 SB for this, uh, for the screenshots. 
and we're going to cover high resolution relief shading. So remember, when you take your card and you plug that into your Garmin device, you're going to get a couple of things that actually pop up. Mariner eye view, fish eye view, and relief shading. So those are new to that actual card. Let's go in and select relief shading. And I'll show you the coverage area of the unit that I'm using. And this is the Lakeview G3 Ultra East. So when I plug in that card, I know that it's reading that card coverage area because I see the outline border of that particular area. Now remember, this is just covering the inland lakes and this is the area that you're going to see. The example I'm using, so I actually moved my boat in simulator to Lake Martin. And this is what you're going to see with relief shading. This is the default settings that you're going to see, giving you that combined color and shadow to give you an easy to interpret, clear view of bottom structure. So when I take a look at this, and I'm not familiar with this particular lake, you've got land here, shoreline, drop offs. And then if you take a look at here, that's an old riverbed running through the lake. And I can see that there's some areas here that it starts to shallow and some of the areas depending on the lake levels might be exposed. I'm also gonna go in and show you how to turn on and change dynamic lake levels if your lake is up or down. Let's go in and select menu here. And I want to show you a really cool feature that we have, and it's called fishing contours. So I can take the information that I have here and I can actually overlay bathymetric contour lines onto my relief shading chart. The way that we do that is, let's go back one. Whenever you want to customize anything with Garmin, and I tell people, People a lot of times, when I'm training our dealers and consumers, if you can learn our menu button and our home button, you can do almost anything in a Garmin device. So let's select menu. And under relief shading menu, we are going to go into layers, water. and fishing contours. So as the default setting, it has fishing contours off. Shallow shading is on. So when you get your G3 Ultra card and plug it in, that's the settings that you're gonna have. I also am gonna talk about this a little bit later on. I do see lake level. So under that pathway to get to water layers, I can change lake level. Remember, that. we'll talk about that in a little bit. Fishing contour, what does that do? Well, now I actually overlay those bathymetric fishing contours, giving me spot readings for depth in those particular areas. And that'll give me a good idea of what I'm looking at. When an area kind of shoals up in that area there, what depth is it? You know, based upon that particular lake and this is a dynamic lake, so we can change those levels and those will correspond. So let's go in and select menu again. We're going to turn on satellite photos. And I'm going to do this for a couple different reasons here, but I just want to show you the pathway to get to that. So it's found under layers. Start this time and satellite photos. This is defaulted to off. I'm going to talk about the other ways that you can actually access satellite photos, but a lot of times when people want to look at the high res satellite photos and they don't see it, they have to go in here and follow that pathway under chart layers and turn satellite photos on. What does that look like? 
Here it is, relief shading with satellite photos turned on. And the reason why I did this is for some people love this. You know, they get that, that satellite imagery of the land here has really changed. Um, you know, you've got some information on spot readings there, but then they look at their buddies and this is what theirs looks like. And some people will prefer this over this. And just remember that you might have something additionally turned on, a layer turned on, and that's why it's changed from what you've had. So check the layers and see what you have turned on or off. Remember the relief shading default is shallow shading on, okay? Fishing contours off, and satellite photos off. Dynamic lake levels. We get a lot of questions on this when we do some inland uh, tournament or if we're doing any kind of uh, open house for dealers, is dynamic lake levels. Uh, how do I change them? And is my lake covered? Remember, this is a function of the G3 Ultra Card. So if you're just running G3, you're not going to find that dynamic lake level feature in your Garmin device. I'm using my Echo Map UHD 94SV for the screenshots here. Also remember, I'm going to go into relief shading, but you can also access dynamic lake levels in fishing chart and navigation chart. Let's select relief shading. And let's go in, well, first, let's do this. Maybe I want to make sure that my lake is covered and I have those dynamic features on that particular lake. Remember, lakes.garmin.com. So let's go there and take a look and let's see if Lake Martin is on there. Yes, it is. So this is a Garmin Elite multi-beam survey lake. Take a look at the bottom there. It says it right there. So I know that this lake here has every feature that we offer. If you also notice too, you've got the boxes all checked off for relief shading, dynamic lake levels. Everything on this particular lake is covered. So we actually took a survey boat out there with the multi-beam sonar and surveyed that particular lake. So you're going to get the most detail on that lake. And that's simple enough of just going into lakes.garmin.com and making sure your lake's on there. So let's go in here. We're in charts, relief shading, and then of course, when we want to go in and customize something, turn on or off settings, we're going to go into menu. So we're going to select menu. We're going to next select layers. Remember, we're accessing dynamic lake levels here. And then water. And lake level. Now, two ways that we can actually find out if our lake is covered, lakes.com or if you actually go to your so this area here under water layers, and you don't see the lake level, and you're on your current lake, you know that you're not covered, and that does not have the dynamic lake level changes that we have built in. So you won't see this on that. You have to be in the lake that has that coverage area. So let's select lake level. And this is where we can go in and offset that depth. So if your lake is up, or if it's down, this is where we can change those levels. Active lake offset, type in the number. Well, where do I get that number? How, how do I know if it's up or down if I'm not familiar with that particular lake? I just did a quick Google search and I went on to lakelevels.info and you can pull up lakes throughout 
the country and take a look and see, and they're gonna tell you if it's up or down and give you a depth range for that. I can type that in, and now all my lakes, all that depth information will adjust for that day. And remember, that'll hold that setting in there. So if your lake made a huge change, you know, you've got it, it flooded, it's up 10 feet, you're going to have to go in and change those levels. So just kind of remember that. What are the other features and premium features that are offered in the G3 Ultra for lakes? Let's take a look here. We've got a lot of other features. When you purchase that card, that are going to be preloaded onto that particular card. You're going to have 3D images. So you have the true Mariner Eye 3D, Fish Eye 3D, obviously relief shading, and then also satellite imagery, which can you can access through fishing chart or navigation chart. In relief shading, you're actually going to get surface and side scan sonar photos. So with those elite survey lakes that Garmin has done, you're gonna get additional features that you're gonna see on there and we'll take a look at that. So what are you getting with the 3D views? You have a Mariner eye view. This is a true 3D view, not just a perspective. So this kind of takes a view from behind the vessel itself and gives you three-dimensional picture of what you're actually navigating through. Gives you a good depiction of here's the shoreline, here's the ocean or the lake floor or ocean floor, depending on where you're at, the riverbed that we we're talking about before. And we can actually change this view so we can we can you know kind of zoom up or zoom down. Think of this kind of like a helicopter behind you and it can actually see through the water. This is great for locating different structure, better situational awareness, and also great for just those cruisers or someone navigating an area that they're not really familiar with. Fisheye 3D is a cool feature here. And this provides an underwater three-dimensional view that represents the seafloor. When you actually have a transducer connected to your chart plotter, you'll actually see your sonar beam in there, and you can customize what you actually view in this beam in real time. And how do you do it? Click on the menu, and you can add fish that'll actually appear on here. And that's when you have a Garmin device that has a sonar or transducer connected to it. Now remember, uh, so I'm in Florida. I'm west coast of Florida. Uh, we have a lot of the Gulf is very flat, and I don't get these changes in bottom contour, so I don't see a lot of this. But some of the lakes that really have good predominant level changes, drop-offs, old creek beds, you're going to really see a huge difference in the bottom. To me, I don't use this as much because I don't have those significant changes in depth. Satellite imagery. So remember before we overlaid the satellite imagery on relief shading? My preferred method would be overlaying that on your fishing chart or navigation chart. That's probably the best way that I like it because I can get more information from that when I'm actually going in and turning on that information. It's turned off when you get your card. So remember, you're going to have to go in under menu layers chart satellite photos it's defaulted to off you can turn land only on so you get the satellite image of land or you can do a photo map blend where it's both the water and the land so remember go to either fishing chart or nav chart you're going to hit the menu button and then follow this pathway and turn on satellite photos. 
we've talked a little bit about surface and side scan sonar photos. These are in our elite surveyed lakes. And what this gives us the ability to do, so let's say I'm on the Cumberland River. I'm not really familiar, familiar with this area, but I can see on this that, hey, I've got some side scan photos there that the Garmin, Garmin sur uh, survey team has added. And maybe there's docks on here, there's boat ramps on here, and I wanna see what they look like. Maybe even before I go to that particular lake, I wanna see what it looks like. Or I'm fishing here, and I wanna see what that dock looks like. Maybe it's an area that I wanna fish on. So if we go over and we click on, or tux, or move our little crosshairs over that camera that's on the screen, you're gonna get some chart selections that pop up. Photo, I could navigate right to that point. I could create a waypoint, measure the distance to that point, and then get additional information if it's a marina or a, a boat ring up. So let's go ahead and click on the photo. And here we go. So there's the photo, there's the dock camera, and there is the photo that we took. So now I know exactly what those docks look like. Maybe it's an area that I want to go over and fish on or just hang out and raft up a little bit. Next, let's take a look. I have these side scan photos here. So that's from our survey boat. Move my crosshair over the top of that. I can go ahead and then select photo. There we go. So there's some good structure on the bottom there. We can go ahead and take our boat over there and with my side view, clear view and traditional sonar, I can locate that and fish on that particular area. So very beneficial. Remember, this is under relief shading and this is surface and side scan sonar photos. Community edits done through Active Captain app and Navionics. So first off, during this time, the boating community, like so many others around the world, is answering the call to participate as global citizens to help improve cartography for the benefit of those who depend on it. You can download the apps, Active Captain, for both Apple or Android, and the Navionics boating app. This allows you to add, edit community content to help improve that navigation for your fellow boaters. Um, it allows you to add information about marinas, buoys, and so forth. It's a great way to share. Active Captain Community. So with the app itself, you can go into the community and you can look up different marinas you can do reviews, you can write little notes. So if you have your navigation logs and your notes of your last trip, or you have different areas that you're anchored up and you want to leave a review of those particular areas, you can do that through the Active Captain Community portion of Active Captain app. And remember, this is free. You can download this for free. You pull your charts over from your Garmin chart plotter in order to see that on your screen itself. We also have mobile quick draw community. This is a very beneficial feature. So what quick draw adds is additional one foot contours. As long as you have a Garmin compatible chart plotter with a transducer that's picking up the bottom, you can in real time make contour lines with one foot contour lines overlaid on your current fishing chart, navigational chart. With this, you can keep that information private. You do not have to share it if you don't want to. You can look on our app and search and see areas that are the red little areas here and see if somebody has shared their quick draw contours. I have done this for an area that I wasn't really familiar with and didn't feel that I had really good depth information. 
and that was down in the Florida Keys. There was a house on a man-made canal, and there was really no chart out there that gave me depth information. I could go on, take a look at that particular area. I could load that area to my app and then send it over to my chart water so I could actually see what depths people were navigating in those particular areas. So a great way to share that information. Navionic Boating App. So with this, you can do community edits in the boating app. This allows you and millions of others to share local information. You can do nautical data, points of interest, such as buoys, lights, rocks, moorings, and ramps directly on your boating app and contribute on your own. So when you're sitting at home, and you want to go in, you've got areas that you know you want to add notes or things that you maybe have, uh, have seen on your last fishing trip or cruise, you can go in and add this information. Leave your mark. Become an author by adding information you believe uh, might interest other boaters. You can go in, you can do that, you can pick marinas, harbors, you know, whatever information that you want to add and insert, you can go ahead and do that through the Navionics app. New chart guarantees and update. Do not forget that when you purchase a Garmin G3 card, either Vision, Ultra, or just a regular G3 card, that you have a one year free update. So within the first 12 months of purchase, you can update the charts that are in, let's say your blue chart G3 vision card for free within that one year, okay? Outside of that year, so let's say four years down the road, you have a Lakeview G3 ultra card, you have the East Coast version, and you wanna update that, you can do that at 50% off the cost of what that card was is at the time of the exact same coverage area. So that way you know that you have the most current charts on the water when you're using your Garmin device. I wanted to also mention too that we actually have a rebate program that's going on. This is a trade-in rebate running through December 31st. 2020. And what this allows you to do is take an older card, trade it in, and with the purchase of a newer card, you can get up to 700, uh, I'm sorry, you can get up to $75 back for your trade in. So just remember that you can go ahead and take some old cards, purchase a new card, and so if we purchase a brand new Lakeview G3 Ultra, we can get $75 back. Also remember too, Navionics cards will not work in Garmin devices. We still make Navionics cards, so we make the Platinum Plus, the Hot Match Platinum. Those are for other uh, vendors out there that use the Navionics platform still. With Garmin, our cards, have the Navionics data and it's called G3. So I wanna take this time and thank everyone for watching these training videos from the Garmin Marine team here in the US and to everyone out there, I know that we're getting a lot of people from around the world that are watching these training videos. We hope that they're very helpful. If you ever have any questions, particularly for this webinar, please contact us at marine.training at garmin.com and we'd be happy to answer any of your questions on relief shading. Thank you very much for attending and we'll see you the next time on our Garmin webinar series.